right, Paul from Click and Turn here, all dosed up with cold, flu, COVID, whatever the, it might be. Anyway, it's a quick and simple one today because, quite frankly, I don't really feel great, but never mind, a eh? soldier on, as they say. I did actually pick up a, a, a Tormek sharpening system from a guy not far from uh, where I live. It was pretty dirty, pretty sorry. Um, pretty well, it wasn't broken, but the main shaft was completely worn out. It's a SA250. I have no idea what attachments I need to make that usable on, a, on wood turning gouges. So, if you have any idea, I surely appreciate to hear them. I'll show you. It, is. it did actually look a lot worse than that, but I took it to pieces down to the last nut and bolt, cleaned everything, gave you the coat of blue hammerite, and um, Bob's your uncle, starting to look a bit better again. This is the, the beast. I am actually going to get some double sided spray adhesive and put these back on even though they're knackered. But um, anyway, yeah, there's lots of pictures about what you can use and what have you, but I'm not entirely sure I can use it on wood turning gouges. Yeah, like I say, if you've got any ideas, then please feel free to enlighten me because I haven't got a clue when it comes to Tormax, Tormax rather. As I said, it's an SA250. So before I go spending lots of money on CBM wheel and this, that and the other, uh, I need to know whether it's actually suitable. Here's today's subject. Not entirely sure I know what it is. I've had it a long time. It's been sitting up in the loft. It's got a couple of splits in the other end, but I don't think they go too far. But I generally fill those on the way anyway. Could be beach. Could not be. Don't know. I don't know. Let's give this guy a foot. We're a little bit out of kilter here. Like that. Let me sort that out. Holy moly. Marked out for a tenant. <coughs> we'll deal with those cracks in a little bit. But yeah, let's make the tenon. Sharpen this thing up though. 
should be a bit better. It is a bit better. Um, yeah, still don't know what I'm going to do with it. I know. Let's just seal it up a bit. Squirt a bit of black CA down there. Oh, do I want black? Oh, I don't know. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick some Gorilla Epoxy tinted with some colour and squeeze it all down into the gaps there. Let it go off and come back to it tomorrow when I feel a little. Hopefully, I might feel a little bit more with it. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, let's do that instead. A touch of class, a touch of gold. There we go. Shame it ain't real gold. But hey ho. Gotta work it in. Here we are again, <coughs> as you can hear, still feeling not much better. Uh, another day, let's see if we can just take some of this Gorilla Glue off and leave some nicer looking goldy bits. Let's see. Okay, let's get rid of this nub. Turned it right down. Well, not right down, but down enough. Time for a little bit of sanding. Too bad, it's a bit rough there. I'll do some more off camera because I don't really want to bore you to death with sanding. Okay, time for a wee bit of sanding sealer. Yeah, this must be beach, it's not older. I'll tell you the way it looks. I don't know what it is with beach. It looks dirty sometimes when you just cut it. I mean, it's obviously not dirty, it's just the green. However, I think they're super floodlight, so uh, you probably can't see it. Righto, here's the 50mm chuck. There's my little tenon. Here's a little tenon as well. And there's me. There's my spinny thing. 
possum. The objective today is to not knock too much bark off. Other than what I want to anyway. Have I lost a bit? I think I've lost a bit. It's all so and so. Oh, you remember that question earlier I asked about Tormek? Well, I had time to reflect on it last night and I think I found myself some solutions. Which is great, because this is such an old Tormek, I didn't think I'd be able to restore it. But now, I think I stand half a chance. Excellent. Nice, same thickness all the way around. And look at those cracks! Holy shamoly! Time for a bit more and the old uh, gorilla glue. Let's knock some up and squirt it down the holes. You can see all that. There's one crack that goes all the way from here, pretty much all the way across to the other side. A few little hairline cracks, another one, big one forming there. That'll make a nice feature. I'm just going to clean it out though with a pick. Give it a bit of space for the old epoxy to go into. Probably don't need too much today, I would say. I think I might have put too much in there. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have to push it in. Right, -o. here we are with the tool I hate the most. Sanding. Let's put a new battery in. Uh, let's give it a bit of sanding sealer. The old body's running out of energy now. Poor old sausage, you know. <laughs> Got a bit of tear, tear out inside there. But, you know what? It's really smooth. Weirdly. I might sand it again after this. A bit of sanding and sealer. Stiffen it up a bit. Oh, well, so much for quick and easy. Took a while, we got there in the end. Just got to sort out the base and we'll all be done. We'll coat it in some oil.